Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul from the pharmacist's daughter. I was so impressed with the melt that I had from her that I had warmed that I was like, she's got something good going on here. Well, actually her and her daughter have something good going on here. And I definitely want to check more of them out. So their next restock is the 13th and I had messaged the Instagram account and I had asked because they were looking for a like every restock they do a charity and I had asked if they would be interested in doing a, um, like they do a donation to a charity and I asked if they would be interested in doing the for this restock if they would be interested in doing the Ronald McDonald house so that's very near and dear to my heart and I'll give you just a quick little reason why um, so, and this was perfect timing as well because my daughter's, well, my first daughter's birthday would, or is April 28th. Um, she only lived for 10 days and she passed on May 10th. And so the restock timing was just right. Like when I asked, it was like right around that time. And so, yeah, I had saw their live where they were asking if they, if they if people had charity ideas to let them know so ronald mcdonald house just to give you a little bit of background is one of those places that you don't really think about until you actually need it and our experience there was like when you're in the midst of kind of a crisis you, you don't want to have to think about where you're going to stay what you're going to eat they provide all that i remember staying there and I remember thinking oh my gosh like this is so nice in here I mean I wasn't really thinking about it but now that I think back on it I was like you know it really was nice accommodations they have volunteers that come in and have like crock pot meals always ready to go for you so when you come back because you when when you're in crisis like that you want to be as close to the hospital as you can and you want to be ready as soon as you need to go to the hospital to go there and you spend most of your days at the hospital so having a place like the Ronald McDonald house, which is like close to hospitals for that reason, so that you don't have to drive. I think for us, I think it was about an hour drive uh, back and forth, which when you're a young couple and don't really have like a lot of money, um, yeah, it's great to have a place like that. So we stayed there and when we would come back at nighttime or just to get something to eat, depending on if we were going back to the hospital or not, we would they would always have crock pot meals going there and they always had food you know for you to just like it's like living in a in your own house but you, i mean you're sharing it with other people but like i mean you could go in the cabinet and like look for cereal and then you could just have cereal if you wanted you know something quick to eat they always had you know stuff laid out for you to eat and it was just it was really great i just remember like at nighttime they would always have like crock pot meals so you walk in and you get the smell of like dinner, you know, like your own home would be. So like when you're in crisis, like you don't want to think about, you know, what you're eating or whatever. And it's really helpful for families that, you know, maybe don't like you didn't plan on going to the hospital. Well, most of us didn't. We didn't plan on going to the hospital. So, you know, so sometimes you just don't have the money to be eating out every night, you know, getting breakfast from somewhere, getting lunch. It starts to add up. And also, you know, lodging as well. So the Ronald McDonald house runs like you can either, you, you just tell them what you can pay. So basically if you, you know, you can afford $10 a night, you say, Hey, I can afford $10 a night. Or if you say, you know, I just don't have the money to pay for this at all. You don't have to pay for your stay there. So that works out really well. And so, yeah, like I said, it's one of those places that you don't really think about until you actually need it. So that was the um, inspiration for me asking the team at Pharmacist Daughter saying, hey, would you be interested in the Ronald McDonald House? Here's why. Um, so, I, so maybe some of you nurses out there or people who work in the medical field. So my daughter Haley had the, um, she had transposition of the great vessel or let's say it was called the great vessel or the great artery. So basically it meant her 
heart valves were transposed, so they were going different directions. So basically when she was born, she wasn't getting oxygenated blood. She was getting blood that was, um, that was, that you know, that didn't have oxygen in it. So obviously that's a problem right off the bat. We were in a level one facility, so it didn't have a, well, it did have a NICU, but it wasn't equipped to handle what she needed. So we had to be transferred over to, I think it was, I'm trying to remember what hospital we were transferred to. It was a Sacramento, I want to say it was UC Davis, but I don't remember. We just went to a level, whatever the highest level uh, hospital is. So my husband <clears throat> at the time, which is Ashley's dad as well, um, drove behind the ambulance because they needed to transfer her like right away. So as soon as I had had her late into the evening, she got shuttled away. And I can't tell you what it feels like. Um, they actually discharged me like the very next day. Like they said, you know, go be with your daughter or whatever. And um, yeah, uh, I remember walking out of the hospital holding, you know, my baby carrier and nothing was in it. And that is the worst feeling in the world. And I... Um, I remember, yeah, I just remember walking out of there and I just, and I also remember being like, oh, I was going to stay there for a few days and like, you know, with everything happening, they were like, well, you know, we need you to just observe you for a little while and then, you know, if you're fine in the morning, you can go ahead and, and go over to the other hospital. So I basically had like a, a seven or eight hour uh, recovery time and then I was out and, you know, off to the other hospital where I, w I wasn't actually uh, what's the word admitted into the hospital I was just you know going there to visit and you know see what was going on with Haley so that's why the scent that you see on the pharmacist's daughter scentless is called Haley so when you see the scent blend Haley that's the name of my daughter uh, that passed away so yeah um, that's going to be available on the 13th along with a lot of, like she has a really fun restock like set up for this go around. It's an 80s themed restock, it looks like a lot of fun. So let me go ahead, I didn't mean to go into that whole story, but I just wanted to tell you a little bit about how the Ronald McDonald House like helped uh, our situation and does help families, especially, you know, some of those people are there for a long time. We were there for about a week and a half and even that was, you know, it was just nice to have that for that week and a half, but um, yeah, just really great for families that need it, especially for a longer period of time, you know, and then when, also too, when we started getting bills from the, from her stay there, you know, it's just another like dagger in the heart, you know, it's like, oh, well, you know, I didn't come home with my baby, but I'm getting these bills. Fortunately, we were covered under TRICARE and the military healthcare system. So that was a godsend. But when you see how much those bills are, like, I could not believe the amount uh, I just couldn't believe how much it costs to stay in the NICU for one day. It was crazy. Um, I wish I still had those uh, medical bills now, but I, I don't have them to look at and go back and see. But they were expensive. I was like, if you didn't have insurance, I can't even imagine. So, okay. I didn't mean to get into all that, but let's get into the haul here. So I'm not going to show the card or anything because I showed it last time. They're still doing the, or the last... They threw in an autism awareness. Yeah. So the last charity they did was for autism, which I think is super great. I know many families that are affected by this. So yeah, know a couple kids with autism as well. Really special, special kids. So, and then of course the card. I feel like this is really bright. I feel like whenever I film these in the morning, <laughs> it is uh, super crazy. Okay, so let me see if we can see. There we go. So you can kind of see some of the places you can go. She does have a Facebook group. I'm sorry, they do have a Facebook group. I'm sorry, I keep saying her. I had met Kim first before I had just uh, talked to her daughter. So I'm so sorry, but it's a team. It's a mother-daughter team. Okay, so the first scent I got was fresh linen as a sample. Love getting samples. I love to smell scents. Even ones that I think I've already smelled, like it's always nice to have that second smell because things change, you know? Oh yeah, okay, fresh linen is definitely one I need to keep in the back of my mind. 
such a pretty bright scent. Smells kind of like a clean cotton, but like amped up a bit. Different than clean cotton, but just more amplified, I feel like. Okay, the next one I have is Blue Raspberry Cotton Candy. I think that's Blue Raspberry Cotton Candy Bubblegum, which I'm always, uh, intr intr ugh, I'm always intrigued by bubblegum scents. Huh, okay, surprisingly, this actually doesn't smell bad. I, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of bubble gum, but I kind of like it in here. Blue raspberry cotton candy is so good mixed with different scents. I've had a blue raspberry cotton candy, pink chiffon, and something else, and it was really good. All right, let's get into the haul here. Yeah, let's get into the haul here. I do have a few favorites. I kind of sniffed these, but I haven't sniffed them for a while, so you have to excuse me. So I think these are her cloud cakes. Um, hold on, let me fix this. Okay, this should be better. Okay, sorry, these are her wave bars. <laughs> I'm thinking of another company, stupid me. Okay, so the first thing I have is a beach blanket and this is suntan lotion, white linen, and musk. Now, suntan lotion is sometimes iffy for me. So I was like, this was kind of taking a chance. And I'm happy to say that the suntan lotion is not the most dominant thing in here. You can smell it, but I don't feel like it takes over. Sometimes suntan lotion in scents, I feel like takes over the whole thing. You can smell it in here and it definitely gives it that suntan lotion feel, but I feel like it's light enough that it's not gonna overpower the scent. Strangely though, even though the suntan lotion isn't strong, I'm not really smelling the white linen or the musk that strongly, but we'll see things always change when they're warmed. I mean, always, almost always. Okay, here's another wave bar. I'm gonna have to get used to that <laughs> wave bar. So this is Marina, I think that's what it's called. It's blackberry, magnolia, driftwood, and marshmallow. This one smells so freaking good. Plus look at all that glitter on there, super pretty. This one surprised me. I wasn't sure. Oh, to me, the blackberry is so soft in here. It doesn't overpower. It's just a pretty. Oh, it's just, it's so pretty. And I love that the blackberry doesn't dominate this scent because sometimes people put blackberry in things and I feel like it just overpowers the whole thing. The other notes, the magnolia driftwood and the marshmallow. I mean, you can definitely smell the marshmallow in there and the kind of floral of the magnolia. Really pretty. So here is another one. This is a scent in wild air. And I think her daughter, no, this wasn't it. Okay, sorry. This is fresh air, mint, eucalyptus, and musk. Did Maybe her daughter did talk about this one. Maybe I'm thinking of another one. This is a while ago. I've had this haul for a bit, but I wasn't really like filming for a bit there. This one is, I like this one. I Sometimes eucalyptus is kind of iffy for me, but it's not overpowering in here. Oh, the mint is perfect in here. That fresh air, this would be really good in the bathroom. Oh, I think bedroom too as well. I think the bedroom would be really nice for this as well. Just if you were like cleaning or something and wanted like something kind of to pep you up. Okay, and then, whoa, oh gosh. Okay, so the last wave bar I have, oh, this is the one that her daughter talked about, was Spring in the South, was Lavender Honey Lemon Sugar. When they did their live, I was listening to her daughter talk about this one. I'm like, you know what, that sounds really good. Not normally a uh, <laughs> honey, well, actually none of these scents, like I was thinking of um, a tea scent. But actually, I don't think this is a tea. You know what this reminds me of? It all, Okay, so it's lavender, honey, lemon sugar. It almost reminds me of Honey, I Wash the Kids from Lush a little bit. But with that lemon sugar mixed in. Oh, that's good. This one is really good. This one reminds me of... Mm, kind of like a... Feminine... I don't know, to me, it just smells feminine. Feminine, but that lemon kind of brightens it up a little bit. 
The honey is just soft and sweet. The lavender is really good. Love this one. I'm glad I picked that up. Okay, now for the souffles. Yeah, souffles. So I picked up a few of these. This is pink lemonade. This is pink lemonade, pink sugar, and lemon chiffon. And I love lemonade scents right now. So I was like all over this. Per perfect for summer. And this is... Let me see. You can definitely get the pink lemonade out of here. I've never, I don't know that I've ever had lemon chiffon. It's not too strong. Like it's not too strong lemon. I think I get more of the lemonade. Lemon scents I have to be careful with. My lemon, uh, my nose is not used to lemon scents whatsoever because I don't ever buy like lemon bakery at all. Like lemon curds, I try to stay away from altogether because I just don't. I don't, I used to like them and not so much anymore. Okay, so the next one is Pastry Shop. This is Jelly Donut Morning Beignet Strawberry White Cake. And I loved her Morning Beignet scent, so I went ahead and went for this one. Jelly Donut to me, it always, like, I feel like every vendor has a different one, or I can never figure out what Jelly Donut smells like because they all smell different to me. I had like a couple of single scents and just like plain Jelly Donut scent. And it always just eludes me. But this one, I feel like I can smell. I smell like actual jelly. Which I think has been the problem with the other jelly donut scents is that they've never had like that jelly scent. They've always had just kind of this weird smell. This one I do smell. And I'm not really smelling the beignet or the strawberry white cake too strongly. I mean, there is something going on in there. But I think my nose is picking up that jelly donut first and foremost. But cold sniff is kind of a crapshoot because we all know how things change when they're warm. So the next one I got, I had to get this one, lemons and laundry. I had to get lemonade. Again, I'm just obsessed with lemonade right now, especially in summertime. I love it. White clouds. White clouds you really can't get wrong with. Yeah, this is lemonade. Just a slight hint of that white clouds, but mostly lemonade. Lemonade always tends to dominate for me, and that's totally fine with me. Love lemonade. <laughs> I can't say it enough. So the next souffle I got is strawberries and cream. This is strawberry pound cake, vanilla ice cream, sugar waffle cone. I like to try different vendors' strawberries because I, I find that I either love or hate a strawberry. Sometimes strawberry can be... I don't know how to say this the right way. So like fresh picked strawberry to me always smells really authentic and real. And I know a lot of people don't like fresh picked strawberry. Some people like the strawberries that I don't like. Like the ones that smell kind of fake or artificial to me. So I feel like this smells like strawberry pound cake. But I feel like it might be the strawberry that I don't love. I don't know. Sometimes strawberry to me just comes off weird unless it's fresh picked strawberries so i wish some people would take um some vendors would take the strawberry pound cake and maybe mix like take a, a strawberry pound cake and mix like the fresh picked strawberry in with there to make it smell real more realistic but still have that bakery note i'll warm that before i judge that one so the next one i have and like i said some people love that strawberry like some people love like um there's another vendor that I got a lot of strawberry from at one time, one point in time, and I was like, you know what? I don't even like this strawberry. Like, it's the one that I don't like. So there's that. Okay, this is sun-dried cotton and vanilla bean. Noel. whenever you put, like, any sort of sun-dried cotton, sun-dried linen, fresh linen, anything that has to do with linen, I'm, like, there. <laughs> so cotton blossom was easy for me. Sun-dried cotton and vanilla bean. Noel. Yeah, this one is just perfect. It's like kind of a variation of clean cotton to me. Like I smell a lot of that, like that clean cotton scent. And then the Vanilla Bean Noel just kind of tempers it down a little bit. So that one is good. That's great for summer as well. And the last one I have is on the boardwalk. And this is Boardwalk Taffy and Boom Boom Type.
Oh, and this one. Okay, so I just got the Boom Boom Cream from the Sephora sale, which actually ended a while ago. So it's been a little bit, but I grabbed a container of that because I had tried a sample and I really liked it. I haven't had Boardwalk Taffy by itself in a long time, so I mostly just smell the Boom Boom Cream. I feel like the Boom Boom Creams are just really pretty in general. Okay, so that is my haul. Um, like I said, I am... I will be participating, obviously, in the ready to ship on the 13th. Um, definitely going to be grabbing that Haley scent, of course. Want to help support always. So, yeah, that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, this is not really a great angle to end at either. Here we go. I did not keep this neat at all, <laughs> which I usually, I don't know, I guess I try to do, but maybe not. I'm out of practice, you guys, really. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you have a scent that you like from The Pharmacist's Daughter, let me know down below. I'm curious what your favorite has been so far. I think I really like that Marina scent. Um, there's a few here, but I will get back to you in warm reviews. Okay, thanks you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.